What's up guys, it's me and I'm and I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of the jumping glitch or the jumping fatigue, whatever you call it. And just before we start this video, let's check out the item shop. Oh shit, there's a new cheer up dance. Take me to your Xbox to play Fortnite today! Bro, holy shit bro, what the fuck is this? Why is Epic adding this shit to the game? And But if you wanna buy it, make sure to take off Ali A and put my creator code AO Endo. Guys, I'm hungry as shit right now, I'm also fat as fuck. I need more McDonald's or else I'm gonna die right now. Use my creator code AOENDO because I'm fat as shit. I need more McDonald's or I'm gonna die. I'm broke, I don't have a house or I'm living under a shelter with two McDonald's breads, that's it. As you guys can tell, I'm such a pro. Look at me, I'm gonna first try level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on. So yeah. Wait. See that? Oh my god. I'm just too good at the game. Oh yeah, and soon I'll talk about the jump fatigue and how to... Wait, what? Where the fuck's my impulse, bro? Why didn't it spawn? Oh my god. Alright guys, so now let me explain how to reduce the chances of getting jump fatigue or jump glitch, whatever you call it, by a lot. So as you see right now, I'm getting jump fatigue because I'm running in a really straight line and I'm saving up all the energy, all the power, all the speed. You see? And that's why you get the jump fatigue. But if you decide to swivel around, look, I almost never get it. The chances of getting it is really low. But if you don't swivel, you're gonna realize you're gonna like die so easily. And another thing all of you should do in my opinion, especially for level 6 and 7 to help you a lot in that, is change your jump button to R1. The reason behind that is because you wanna have full control of the screen moving it while pressing the jump button. That'll make it a lot easier for levels 6 to 7 especially and guys when you're in level 6 you're gonna realize it's so hard because you don't have much time to swivel well actually you don't really need to swivel as long as you take one little turn even if it's small you're gonna reduce the chances of getting jump fatigue or jump glitch whatever you call it by a lot you still will get it but it's gonna be a lot rarer than normal and as you can tell if you see a hard jump you can stop by it and take a quick turn around it Oh, and if you're new around the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel because I upload daily Fortnite creative videos for you guys. I also upload a lot of Scissors Death Run videos like world records and shit like that. As you see the screenshot on screen right now, that's all the videos I work my ass off, you know. I daily upload and all, put a lot of effort in each one. I don't upload shit videos, so yeah. So yeah, subscribing to the channel and maybe using my creator code AOENDO would be really appreciated. So I can get more McDonald's, obviously. I'm fat as shit. What the fuck, man? I fucking died. Okay, guys, let me give you another quick tip. For level 6 at the start, normally you get a lot of jump fatigue. But if you crouch your way there and then uncrouch as soon as you reach the staircase. <laughs> fuck, bro, I'm fucking done, man. Oops, I just realized the channel is actually family friendly. But what I was saying is, if you crouch and run to the staircase and then uncrouch and jump, apparently it's a 90% chance you don't get jump fatigue. So as you see right now, Level 6 isn't that hard as long as you just swivel. Or maybe I'm just making it look easy. Whoops. Okay, see those, those three ones, yeah, that I was just talking about? Normally you get fa jump fatigue on it. But I did it because I was swiveling left and right really quick. So, yeah, level 7. Alright guys, so I found a new cheat or a really easy way to do level 7. So as soon as you spawn, if you go a bit to the right and then go like that, and then that's all the speed you need, you know that. You're not meant to go back even more to gather more speed. And now all you do is just do it. Here you slow down a bit as you should know by now. And yeah, because it will decrease the chances of getting jump fatigue if you do how I did it at the start. If you gather all the speed at the, at the start, you're gonna probably die. Guys, I looked out my window last night and I saw Flappy Bird. I'm the Flappy Bird in the Super Mario World, but now I'm dead. I hope you guys have found this video helpful. If you did, obviously subscribe to the channel right now. Other than that, peace out. And use creator code AOENDO in the item shop.